Who could resist? Anywhere else in the country, I was a bookie, a gambler, always looking over my shoulder, hassled by cops day and night. But here, I'm Mr. Rothstein. I'm not only legitimate, but running a casino. And that's like selling people dreams for cash. I hired an old casino pal, Billy Sherbert, as my manager, and I went to work. For guys like me, Las Vegas washes away your sins. It's like a morality car wash. It does for us what Lourdes does for humpbacks and cripples. And along with making us legit, comes cash. Tons of it. I mean, what do you think we're doing out here in the middle of the desert? It's all this money. This is the end result of all the bright lights and the comp trips, of all the champagne and free hotel suites, and all the broads and all the booze. It's all been arranged just for us to get your money. That's the truth about Las Vegas. We're the only winners. The players don't stand a chance. And their cash flows from the tables to our boxes, through the cage, and into the most sacred room in the casino. The place where they add up all the money, the holy of holies, the count room. Now this place was off limits. Even I couldn't get inside. But it was my job to keep it filled with cash, that's for sure. They had so much fucking money in there, you could build a house out of stacks of $100 bills. And the best part was that upstairs, the board of directors didn't know what the fuck was going on. I mean, to them, everything looked on the up and up, right? Wrong. The guys inside the counting room were all slipped in there to skim the joint dry. They'd do short counts, they'd lose fill slips, they'd even take cash right out of the drop boxes. And it was up to this guy right here, standing in front of about $2 million, to skim the cash off the top without anybody getting wise, the IRS or anybody. Now notice how in the count room nobody ever seems to see anything. Somehow somebody's always looking the other way. Now look at these guys, they look busy, right? They're counting money, who wants to bother them? I mean, God forbid they should make a mistake and forget to steal. Meanwhile, you're in and you're out. Past the Jagoff guard who gets an extra C note a week just to watch the door. I mean, it's routine. Business as usual. In, out, hello, goodbye, and that's all there is to it. Just another fat fuck walking out of the casino with a suitcase. Now that suitcase was going straight to one place, right to Kansas City, which was as close to Las Vegas as the Midwest bosses could go without getting themselves arrested. That suitcase was all the bosses ever wanted, and they wanted it every month. 